We love Trump. Trump is a very strong leader. Trump allows me to speak the, my First Amendment right. And then when he has a question, which he really honestly never does. Well, actually, that's not true. When, I, when it's damaging to me, he, he, he tries to slow it down and say, you need to slow it down. <laughs> he's a very good mentor. And he's a very good leader. And he's a very good boss. And he's a very good person. But see, the people that don't like him don't know how to be a worker. It's a very profound moment in your awareness. You don't know how to be a worker. You're not okay with making mistakes. And then when he corrects you on the mistake, you blame him as if it's his fault for your mistake. And then you are in an unworkable space. Because you get angry and you yell and scream. And let's, that's, that's, the, that's the functioning aspect of the work part of it. However, we all know that the fake news media is corrupt and they work, they're working with the underbelly of the Democrat Party with Hillary Clinton because Donald Trump has some really doo-doo shit on her. And she has a lot of doo-doo shit on Obama too. And Obama did a lot of doo-doo shit while he was in office, while you all praised his ass, letting everybody know that I was never interested in listening to Obama speak. I was never, ever interested in anything Obama had to say. Not one time. I never listened to anything he had to say. I never watched the news at all when he was in, in charge. And when I saw him on uh, any talk show, I turned the channel. And my life was great. My life was great because I didn't have to deal with it. Your life wasn't great. My life was great because I didn't look at his ass. I didn't listen to his ass. That's part of why I was able to not fall for his shit. Because he likes to do what Monavan likes to do. Is get you to agree to his shit when his shit is shit. So the other aspect of this shit is that the news media has lear have learned a way to bully into submission their target. Which is like watching a... What's it called when you're in a getting arrested and you sit behind the table in the, in the TV show and then the police officer's interrogation room. So while not, Donald Trump didn't do any of that shit, it's like, for example, the First Amendment right is to be able to, to freedom of speech. But it's not freedom of speech for you to sit on a wall and say, go Palestine. That's, that's terrorism. Go Hamas. You don't, that's not freedom of speech. But they're saying it's freedom of speech. Because there's bad intentions behind the, the Hamas. And that's what you as people don't understand. And so the same thing they did with freedom of speech is what they're doing to Donald Trump when it comes to his indictments. Everything he's done has been legal. And every woman who's come forward has been paid and has been interrogated and brainwashed into believing shit because they're mentally ill. Including that Cass Cassidy girl who used to work for him. Because she got yelled at by him. And she didn't like that. Well, tough shit. You're not a very good person. You're not good at your job. You're fired. That's how women react when they don't get their way. So no matter if it was Donald Trump or me, or even Hillary Clinton, she would have done the same thing. 
Although she may have been afraid of Hillary Clinton. And I actually think she's afraid of me, too. So what does that tell you about the kind of boss Donald Trump is? He's the kind of boss that you can talk to. Women aren't as easy to talk to as men. Because women are abusive like Hillary Clinton. And they like to make you feel a certain way, like less than. And men actually get interested in what's going on. What's actually going on here? Let me get curious. Let me see if I can uncover the case that I need to uncover in the case. So that I can expose the shit that doesn't work in the company. Because women blab. They're blabbermouths. They like to brag. I personally am a very big time blabbermouth. I don't like to brag. I don't embellish, but I know women do. I know Kamala Harris does. So while Donald Trump is an excellent boss, an excellent president, an excellent policymaker, an excellent He's got a great head on his shoulders. He is an excellent foreign policy manager. He's great with, with multicultural. Even Putin is saying yes. He creates peace on earth. And then you know not to fuck with him, Qatar. You think that maybe the, the thing with uh, hiring Mona Van and Gary Vee to come to Qatar... And Gary Vee opening all these businesses in Saudi Arabia just out of the blue during Kamala Harris' leadership? Do you think that Donald Trump would have allowed that shit? Not real sure, Gary Vee, why you're so enthralled with the nastiest place on earth of the Middle East. But I guess it's because your fiancé is Persian. All about the money. Yeah, you better believe that nothing would have ever happened to me because I would have haunted your fucking ass till the end of fucking time and you would have known who was the fucking boss. And that's for the Middle East. See, the Middle East are all like this. They're all schmoozy. Oh, yes, tell me a little bit. It's actually a little bit lower than this. Um, yes, tell me a little about your um, business opportunity. And then they come behind you and stab you right in the fucking back. While they brainwash your ass. I believe in Allah. Law. That's why they have dirt as soil. Because they all suck the life out of everything. So even the Middle East at this point... You know, they thought that they were going to try to teach some of these motherfuckers all this brainwashing tactics, but it backfired on them. The Kamala Harris brainwashing shit is something they've never seen before because they didn't take into account how fucking annoying Canada is. Specifically speaking to the region, because I would like to think that Ryan Reynolds isn't as annoying, but there are inklings where you annoy the shit out of me. And then two, she's Jamaican. And Middle East people do not get along with Jamaicans. And third off, she is Indian. Which is definitely not a culture that the Middle East are enjoying. And so what I'm sending over to the Middle East, specifically to a Persian, is Kamala Harris. And all her nasty energy in her brain. Which is going to fuck you all up. And fuck Americans over too. So it's like, whatever. You won't know up from down or right from left. Plus, you'll cry in your head. Cry in your head. Okay, cool. Go cry in your head. That's how Kam how Kamala cries. I'm crying. Now, Mona Van, you cry. Actually, I prefer if you lash out at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself how unattractive you are. God, your face is.